Okay, Joe Defense here along with Bob. And uh, as much as Bob hates Joe <laughs> Defense, he's letting me get away with it. But that's what we're talking about. We're talking about uh, the Seahawks defense after the win over Denver. And again, it's preseason, so we don't get too wrapped up in it. 30-10, to 10, they beat the Broncos. Uh, I think we do get a little wrapped up in, in the fact the first half, uh, the defense played against Peyton Manning. And Peyton Manning looked like the old Peyton Manning. <laughs> Limited him to one touchdown drive, had a couple of interceptions, and, and you'd normally think all would be well, though I'm not sure that as Joe defense, I feel all is well. Well, they didn't really get that pass rush we've been waiting for. And it, again, we're, they're running a very vanilla defense versus a vanilla offense, and Peyton Manning gets rid of the ball quicker than anybody in the league. But there were those plays, if you guys watched the game, where he had the chance to go through his progressions. You saw him looking this way, then look. He was going through Three, it. Three, four guys, yeah. And there, there wasn't anything he was really worried about. I think Irvin got to him once late and was able to, you know, knock him to the ground sort of. But I mean, That, that was kind of nice, actually, though. Understanding it was late. It wasn't yeah. a sack or anything, but it just, they didn't get to him much. It, yeah, and that wasn't, you know, you're hoping to see that. I mean, the, you, you count on Clemens. He's had 11 sacks each of the last two years. And, and a couple of years ago, you had Raheem Brock, who really chipped in. And you're hoping Irvin is the guy to answer that. Maybe he will be. Maybe they're going to use him a little differently. But so far, we just haven't we haven't really seen that. That's the one missing element so far with his defense is that pass rush. Well, to me, you, you kind of nailed it uh, in terms of Urban. I think it's about the vanilla. I, I really I, I think defensively, you're talking about a, a unit which added just one player, Bobby Wagner, who by the way had the had the microphone, had the headset, mm -hmm. is is taking over as middle linebacker. Everyone else in that unit played together last year. Everyone else in that unit knows what the other can do, with Urban being the exception as, as the rookie being brought in. Uh, I think they are keeping it exceedingly vanilla on defense because they know what they have. And it, it's a little frustrating watching Urban because we did have the uh, defensive line coach, uh, Wash, on with us who said, you know, he kind of was hoping to see him use his speed rather than just power. And it sort of looked like he's still stuck with using all that power. But I tell you what, if they can force turnovers and do the other stuff they're doing, they were an awfully good defense last year, Bob, without being the best defense at rushing the passer. Right, and and as good as that secondary is, you you really want that pass rush. I mean, whether it results in a sack or not, as long as they can get that quarterback to adjust, then get enough pressure to get him to adjust and make mistakes to allow the secondary to capitalize, I can live with that. I don't need the pure numbers. If they can get them, that's great. I, the sacks are great, but I just think in order to keep from putting those guys on an island for too long, it's going to be a crucial part of their defense. It's good. I don't care how good your cornerbacks are. Eventually, they're not going to be able to cover a guy. Come on, Bruce against Kansas City. Give us a sack. Just one.